previously. Do I just take it? <laughs> no! They already had it! I got outplayed on Master Duel Masochist. Let's try Horn Needle. Damn, I gotta send Horn Needle to the grave more often. Holy shit. What is a deck? A collection of cards that is an extension of the player? A tool used to win tournaments? A reflection of oneself? What gives a deck meaning? The individual cards? The number of victories? Or what about the will to never give up? Does a deck inherently possess meaning? Or do we as players assign meaning to the deck? Can we create meaning from nothing? What if we created a new Master Duel account, ignored the starter decks, and restricted the account to the minimum amount of Master Packs possible to create a legal, although not necessarily playable deck of 40 main deck cards and throw ourselves into ranked? If we somehow miraculously defeat an opponent, we can upgrade our deck with one additional Master Pack. Can we achieve something like this in Master Duel that only a masochist would try? I guess there's only one way to find out. This is Master Duel Masochist. Man, I just, I can't win a game. I've lost seven in a row. I need like, I need some sort of X factor to help me out here. Wait a minute, X factor, factor, that's it. If you're like me and always looking for more ways to save time throughout the day, then Factor is right for you. Factor cuts out on stressful meal planning and extensive prepping, so meals come together in minutes, taking the guesswork out of what to make for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less, even faster than ordering in. Meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of more than 34 meal options and more than 36 add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. With meal preferences like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and vegetarian, there's something for everyone. Even with my heavily restrictive diet of not eating gluten or dairy, I still had plenty of options to choose from. And if you're eating with a friend or significant other, you can mix and match the contents of your factor meal so that both of you can get the best of both meals. Get 50% off your first factor box and free wellness shots for life using my link. That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. Click the link in the description or scan the QR QR code with your phone. All right. We would never miss opening a master pack. We would never do such a thing. Masters Diplomen. Man, they made some weird cards. Thunder Dragon, that's a Thunder Dragon card. Bell Flame, Chronomaly, Volcanic, Super Quant, Propagandra, <laughs> Insector Plant. Wait, hold up. Look one of those types. This card becomes that hair type. I'll face up monsters on the field, become that type. Monsters on this field cards can't be targeted by either. I wish that was better. Technically, it is insect slash plant synergy, but whatever. Maybe the legacy packs will be a bit more forgiving. I mean, that's not bad. We have better cards. Penetrable formation, old ass card. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Hey, it's slushy. All right, nothing we're really using there. Let's get back in. Not a bad hand. Oh, we're going first. I can't help but get this set up. You know, if Camellia is going to fiend in Ash Blossom, that's fine. I'm gonna get wrecked. I, I know I'm gonna get, I feel the lightning storm. I already feel it. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Why do I say things? We're somehow like in it. I don't know how, but.
Okay. We're almost there. Huh? What is going on? <laughs> this better be the most galactic brain play I've ever seen in my life. Well... That was Galactic Brain, all right. Master Duel introducing the Sword Soul starter deck was the worst thing for Masochist, I swear. I have a Shuna in hand, too. Okay, I wasn't expecting them to go for that. Could pop this thing. Could YOLO slam Beargrum and just attack. Could also just summon a guy. Hope he can't kill me. That seems a bit optimistic. Okay. I know one card in their hand is a Shuna. I think if I can survive, they attack Roses. Roses floats. We lose a couple more things. It gives us two Beargrim summons. And then we have our battle phase back. And then, like, maybe we have a chance. Uh, if they just do this, make Baron. Baron pop bird. Attack, attack. We're dead. Let's see if they actually do it. Maybe they don't have Baron, which is why they made... I'm going to take 12 from this, though. Mm, I might be dead anyway. 44, I take 1,034. It's really annoying. It's high anyway. We're dead. God, even without Baron... Okay, this hand's a bit more diverse, at least. I'm interested. That's pretty good. Uh, I definitely want to kill this off. In case there's any world, they can actually trigger the effect of that. It's a little bit less damage, but it's a little bit safer. That is bigger. That is a bigger guy. But you know what's even bigger? My golden burst! Really? I guess we got a Raigeki out of them. 
Okay, this Dendrite's actually very relevant right now. We need it to flip so we can dump a card because Beargrum's live once we do that. Please no shield crush. Please no shield crush. <laughs> it's fun to see Marmiting Captain and Marauding Captain on the field together. Oh my God, their hand is just a million things. Link three, huh? Gaia? I did not expect to see Nightmare Unicorn come out. I got to be honest with you. This is going to be a sick Draco Utopian aura. Because now I can convert this Gamma Seal into an actual threat. Yeah, buddy. Put that Alexandrite dragon to defense. Um, I actually think I dump resonance here because I already have the Beargrim in hand. That is totally fine. Monster, please. Oh, that is a sick monster to pick up. Why didn't I summon Beargrim? What am I doing? That was literally exact game. Why didn't I summon Beargrim? God damn it. I don't think it matters, but... One, two, three. Yeah, I had it. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't matter. I have back to square one and solitary sword. I'm probably fine. Good. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. All right, let's get our master pack. Come on. We have severely been lacking good cards out of these master packs. Eagle Booster's kind of cool. Another Witchcrafter. We're like slowly getting like the makings of a Witchcrafter deck. Lamy is cool. Hertz is quite good. Cat Dancer doesn't do anything. Light of Destruction doesn't do anything. Boral Supplier and Sea Lord's Amulet. Those are equally terrible. Okay. Maybe the Legacy Packs will be a bit better. Please? Please? Eh, this card's like fine. Battle Waltz, Tiger Catapult. Regulation of Tribe and Lava Dragon. Oh my God. Th these packs have been merciless. This has just been brutal. Okay. I can work with this hand. Okay. Like to see it. I'm going for Vayne because they have four back row. Oh, man. What do we set? I mean, they set everything, right? Blind Cosmic Cyclone. Double Blind Cosmic Cyclone. Well, I'm sad to see my Dynamicious is gone. Don't show me a Labyrinth card. Don't show me a...
Man, if this was Horn Needle, this would have been way better. Man, he's juiced. That's annoying. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, they can just negate this. I need to find some way to, like, bait it. It's not looking good. Very funny. I may not survive long enough for this to work, but I want to try. So this shouldn't work, right? Try it. Should still be negated. What I'm thinking is, if I can bait the negate from Hot Red on Quaking, and if I live, which is unlikely, then I can pillow the Hot Red since it already used its effect negate because it checks every end phase. Then I get the 3200 token, and then we might be able to do something. All right, this is the guy who does the piercing, right? So this does piercing. Okay, so here's what we're going to try. It's going to hot red this. Yep. No! It does... Oh, it negates it when it... Okay, never mind. We tried. We tried. I would have had to kill Hot Red even if it did work, and then I wouldn't get it at the end phase. This looks like a uh, Labyrinth Archfiend carry type of hand. Oh, we... I thought we played this person before. Never mind. I'm just not even going to bother. Man, we have been getting bodied today. And the bodying continues. All right, 12 card extra deck. That gives me a bit of confidence. My confidence has dwindled.
Getting the full value off the Nashter is nice. We going straight for Seeger? We are. Actually, even out to that card this time. Got to beat this in Infinity. That's going to be rough. Hertz was the send, too. Talk about full value. Let's make Nova here. Special overlay. So the hand is Core, a Galaxy Soldier, and one card we don't know. I'm just going to try this. Maybe they want to be Mr. Yes Button to everything and negate this, which if they do, great. Last card was Ash. I could just go for, like, Solitary Sword to, like, bait Infinity. I could try Enemy Controller to bait Infinity, too. The problem is I need to kill the stupid Seeger. I need to clear this. God, Seeger's so annoying. They let it happen. Shit. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be the way this went. God, it doubles in everything. You know what? No, I'm just quitting. I'm not going to be able to beat that. There was, like, no way for me to... F I would have had to go back to square one to force the infinity, and then it's like, what do I do from there? Like, econ for, like, nothing? There was just, like, no good way to deal with that. And then I'm on no cards when their hand is, like, a way to kill me. Okay, we can beat Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes with back row. That's a good draw. Gotta force this out some way or another. All right, we're just setting everything. Feather Duster isn't real. <laughs> All right, I'm in. This is going to be entertaining. All right, so we're going to Time Breaker the White Stone so it doesn't trigger. Link Kribo's a card. This is going to happen anyway, so.
All right, so end phase, they get blue eyes. We can deal with blue eyes because we have like nine cards that deal with it. Going for spirit. Well, if they have blue eyes in hand, this is going to suck, but I think it's still worth it. This will at least force it. Yep. I'm okay with this because I had a feeling this might be in the back row, so I wanted to do this, so now my Ice Dragon's Prison can actually do something. Bingo machine, go! All right, let's try this. Let's type. Ah, uh, this is fine, right? They summon a thing, we finish our thing. Yeah, this is fine. It's fine. Doesn't target, baby. Um, do they have blue eyes in hand is the question. I'll go for it. Is this lethal? 37, 47, 57, si I'm 100 off lethal. Are you fucking kidding me? Literally 100 off. Oh. Yeah, well, we were killing this turn anyway. One of these days I'll remember. Okay, so they don't have blue eyes. And now we don't have a monster for this. Well, we can still use it. We just can't take something. Oh, that's bad. Uh, so we probably added Chaos Max to their hand off of the bingo machine. Even if I didn't skip my battle phase, right? I would have had to specifically save Ice Dragon's Prison for this moment, which I guess maybe I could have forced it. I could have gone like Econ the Spirit, they chain to tag out, we Utopian Aura, like ditch something to take. We still don't have a battle phase, but then when we get to this position, we go like Ice Dragon's Prison, take something, banish this. And then we'd still have to like navigate the rest of their stuff. That's rough. Can make a four with those. Yeah, they got it. I'm sure I could have sequenced that better to actually pull it off. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. They still had like four other cards we didn't know about. Oh, Jesus. The 
biggest issue with these decks is that they can just keep pending stuff out. And if we don't have, like, a good threat, it just, like, we just can't beat that. Had Astrograph in hand. God, and Parasomnia Pillow has to just send the monsters to the graveyard, too. Prison needs a monster in grave. Dynamicious is like fine. Pillow's practically dead. Hopefully they just like link or summon a big guy that isn't a pendulum. Cause then at least like pillow can do something. And then maybe ice dragon's prison can do something. Cause they're like all dark. Well, that's a way to get a big guy on the field. They're going to get Time Pendulum. Nah, there's no way. No shot. Unfortunately, we have Resonance Insect when we already have the Bear Grum, So that has no other targets. I don't think we're not beating full end board for that. Our opponent's going to think we're actually playing Labyrinth looking at this hand. All right. We pray. Was that Silver's Cry? It was. I think because it has the possibility to bl be blue eyes, I'm going to take quaking. So I have something to, if, it, if chaos max gets dropped, I'm, well, I have ice dragons prison. So I guess I shouldn't really worry too much. Just in case. I'm going to save Vesiculo for Draco Utopian aura. That's what I thought it was going to be. Wasn't expecting that one. That's annoying. They know where the quaking is. This is a good conversion on Vesiculo. Isn't it negated? That's yeah, effects negated. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we doing? Give me that damage. Even if they have Chaos Max, we still have a clean out to it. K 
Kidmoto Dragon's in the grave. Oh, okay. Is our luck turning around? Finally, fuck. God, one win after like 20 losses. Only one legacy pack, never lucky. All right, one of your master packs, please. Please, I will take anything at this point. Orpus, it's funny we're starting to get War Rock stuff. Trump Witch, not good. That's literally like one of the worst cards we could have pulled. Ooh, Chalice isn't bad. That's actually like effect negation. We don't have a lot of that. Plus there's like the damage step tricks too. That's pretty good. Ancient Warriors. I don't think that's a good... There's one Ancient Warrior card I think that's really good standalone. Jinky Pavo and Watt Hopper for the non-existent Watt Lock. All right, Legacy Pack, please. Prepare to Strike Back and Link Hole. All right, at least we got a Chalice, right? Chalice is at least like a playable card. Excellent. Great, great going first hand. You know what? Let's send the Horn Needle. Last time we did that, they conceded automatically. Let's see if it happens again. All right, it's looking like Horn Needle was the right choice. Unfortunately, they stick this Magnum up before it actually matters. They have another Max C. Well. We ain't negating that. Fucking Garura. A Mud Dragon, that works too. I mean, we're not dead. May as well be. End phase, they get Drew a Swarm. That's annoying. I mean, this is beatable. The problem is going to be... Oh, they're not going for Druus Worm. That's, that guy's going to be a problem. All right, cannot target. Problem is I can't kill both of these. They added Diabolos. I can get Camellia back. But then it just dies, so it doesn't even feel that good. I'm gonna do this. Set card was Econ. Sacrifice the Magnumut to take my Ogre to special summon Diabolos. I get this back. Oh, this thing can't be tributed. Oh shit, that's annoying. How do we not die here? Let's try this. Oh, it doesn't get plants. Shit. I forgot it's insects only. All right, that was a mistake. I was trying to get Camellia to send. That would've been crazy. Oh, well, we get this thing back. This is fine. I'm just gonna leave these. I'm gonna leave them out. Stupid insect plant overlap. So they can go attack, attack. This time breaker doesn't do anything because it can just change its attribute to dark and then I can't do anything with it. It's really annoying that I can't gamma seal over this. Those are all pretty good. I think I'm okay if they have ballista squad. I'll get rid of the econ. Yep, 
Attack, attack. Hopefully they attack this without reading. Ah, they read. They read. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have even done this. This can't be targeted. Holy shit, Diabolos is like an FTK against my deck. If I want to be insane, I could go like Gamma Seal, like Gamma Seal this. They're drawing Ballista Squad. I'm just trying to not die. I think I have to do this. Third Econ! That's the third fucking Econ. <laughs> Give it back to me. They're getting Ballista Squad. This card hasn't done anything. So I don't think I'm dead, but then I don't know. Sure. I need like the worm. I need like ice dragons prison to out this quaking. God, they get what Lilith next turn because they haven't shuffled. I get to be quaking. Labyrinth Archfiend can get me to Quaking. We knew that was next. You know, there's definitely still one card that gets us out of this situation. We've got plenty of fodder for it, too. That sucks. Uh, what good does it do if I redraw it? They're going to Lilith set a trap, resurrect Diabolos. I'm questioning if I want to blank my draw or try for something else. I know they have Ballista Squad. I think we have to bottom. Honestly, depending on what they select with Lilith, it may not even matter. And we won't know what it is. Is a mystery. If they let this go, I can check the trap with Vayne. And if anything, it's just a body. So, like. <sighs> Beargrim! Beargrim! That's not Beargrim. That is like the furthest thing from Beargrim. This targets, doesn't it? Yeah, the targets. Well, let's hope it's enough. I think they're drawing into Arima next. Man, this game's gone on for a while. Yeah, Arima's... No, they shuffled after Lilith. Never mind. So that's... A, I don't know what that is. Keep summoning. Keep summoning. Uh, sure. Sure. This Camellia is putting in work. Last card was a back row this whole time. Come on. Not going to do it. I think it just passed. This is insane. If I can just out this Diabolos, like, we're good. That sucks. God, they can get that thing back now.
Please! Bergram! That's not bad. I'll, you know, that's not bad. They can tribute it off with virus, but... This is insane. Uh, that sucks. Let's see if this even works. It was fucking Eradicator. I hit the 33% on Eradicator. That's insane. I was thinking he was deck dev the whole time. I mean, not like I'm losing anything. Okay. If I summon anything, they just get fucking Magnemuth back. I genuinely think I just, like, wait. Twenty six cards. Oh, my God. The problem now is that with layer up, any card they have can meet the requirement for like anything, and then they get Diabolos back and we're dead. Even if I get Bear Grum, it's still gonna be like impossible. It's gonna trigger regain, they're gonna get to draw. I can at least kill Druis Worm. Bring back the guy. This might wrap it up. If they get, yeah, they get beast. This is a dragon too, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I, this isn't happening now. Even if we get Bear Gum, it's not going to matter. Beast just pops. Just curious what we would have drawn. Funny. Uh, I mean, I could meme... All right, Rescorpio. <laughs> oh, this doesn't do anything because it only adds the defense. Yeah, never mind. All right, we're dead. That's like one time where like one of the other boosters would have been better than that card. It's 
So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoy. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout to Shout1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medolce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Phoenix the Immortal, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Little Fade Leaf, Draconic, Dylan Rare Hunter, JW11860, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Chrono the Branded Enjoyer, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady, Uncle Brian of Stardust, Power Rave, but without a stupidly long name that barely makes any sense and is annoying to read out loud, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee Soon, Cancel Bio Players Soon, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Calvin Tempest, RIP Akira Toriyama, Daniel Howell, and Life Keeps Using Solemn Judgment 